What is the influence of Black people on the art of none other than fashion? Oh my gosh. Well, I know we got to get through these questions fast. That's a, <laughs> that's a loaded one. Um, I will say this. Um, we still remain unsung. Uh, we, as African-American people, uh, for hundreds of years, have influenced the core of what people know to be uh, fashionable around the globe. And you know, my book in particular, Men of Color, takes you from slavery to hip hop. Uh, but it talks about, as I mentioned earlier, the fact that we black people use fashion uh, and style, two different things, yes. as a survival skill, uh, as a way to identify, as a way to identify ourselves in a room which oftentimes wants to identify us for us. Uh, but when it comes down to the fashion industry, you know, when you think about designers like Willie Smith or Patrick Kelly or Ann Lowe, you know, when you think about more uh, contemporary designers, I mean, you, you, the list goes on and on. Yes. Uh, the machine behind the fashion business uh, is something that most people don't think of. And it's about having the capital to create collections that uh, outlive you. You know, when you think of someone like Donna Karen, who sold her business for over $600 million and is no longer a part of it, but the collection still continues. Mm -hmm. um, we oftentimes haven't had that kind of support. Hopefully that will change in the future when you look at young designers like Telfar Clemens or yeah. you know, yeah. any of the names that we know as household names now because they have the backing. And that is my wish to continue to get the business backing behind some of these creative names who continue to shape the global look and feel of style. 